Hello guys, welcome in another tutorial. So in this tutorial I would like to show you how to create a grid in the Unity. Um, to do that we just gonna need to we just gonna need Unity and Mono Develop. So uh, let's start. First thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a plane and we're gonna store it as a prefab. So let's delete it. And after this, let's create game object and let's center it on the middle, like on point zero. Okay. We have a camera and our game object. So if we have a prefab, then we're gonna go right now for C sharp script and let's call it great. And let's open it. So I don't like this 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 layout, so I'm just gonna change it for me and I do like comments. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna write another function which doesn't exist over here in the provided template. It's gonna be void awake. This what what this function gonna do, it's gonna basically it's gonna uh, it's gonna run before the game gonna start. Um, if you're not familiar with it, so basically without any feedback, first the game gonna load, then uh, then we we're gonna have any screen like menu or something uh, appear on the screen. Um, so with this, let's let's go and create some variables. All the variables I'm gonna create. Uh, all the variables which I'm gonna create, they're gonna be public. First one is gonna be a game object. Let's call it plane. Here we're gonna store our game object. Another two, they're gonna be public int. Um, first one is gonna be a public integer with. Another one is gonna be public in integer height and after this we're gonna have private which is gonna be a bit different um, game object array which is gonna be great new game object and let's give dimensions of this two dimensional array 10 on 10. Why is it going to be 10 on 10? Because our size of our grid is going to be 10 on 10. That's going to be a kind of a default which I'm going to make. So let's go right now to function awake and let's make a right simple algor algorithm. Uh, uh, it's going to be integer x which is going to be equal to 0 in the beginning x is going to be less than uh, width and uh, x plus equals or plus plus just going to increment by one time anyway so with this done we're going to now make another for loop I'm ah, sorry I don't need semicolon over here it's gonna be another statement this time integer as z z it's gonna be less than height and after z but it's gonna be z plus plus Okay, so what we're gonna do basically, we're gonna count each width. So for one width, we're gonna have 10 height, and so basically, we're gonna have like one row after after one complete loop. And later, we're gonna go to another row, and uh, we're gonna complete it, and another row, and another row. So basically, that's gonna be 
uh, our first location um, as a width and this one is gonna be our rows as a height like in two dimensions so le let's type something here what we're gonna need to add here is gonna game object um, let's call it grid plane it's gonna be using game object as an instance of our variable plane so basically what we're gonna do we're gonna create new uh, new game object in this place we're gonna force it to be a type of game object we're gonna instantiate this one so basically uh, our game object from here uh, we're gonna instantiate on the on the R scene and we're gonna force it to be a type as a game object and we're gonna put an empty game object which is this one so right now grid plane uh, dot transform dot position uh, we're gonna make it equal to new vector tree and let's give a position grid plane dot transform the position uh, dot x plus x so basically what we're doing here we're doing here like our current position plus our x so basically our position which we right now which we're gonna be on the beginning position zero plus x because we're gonna increment each loop x so it's gonna be plus one plus two plus three and that's what what gonna give us really nice transform of of the grid and we're gonna do it for each coordinate in vector tree good plane dot transform dot position dot y um, we're gonna leave it y as it is grid plane dot transform dot position dot z plus z and let's close it so what we're gonna do here we're gonna add all of them uh, as a grid and it's gonna be x and z coordinates of the grid it's gonna be equals to grid plane so right now what we did we just add all our grid planes which we're gonna create into this array um, you may be wondering why we did it and how, like basically how basically uh, let, me, let me explain first how and later we're gonna explain why um, we have our array two dimensional which is 10 on 10 same as the size of of, of our grid which we want to have it and um, be beginning position is 0 and 0 so first grid plane which is gonna be created is gonna be on 0 0 and we're gonna pass this this uh, variables into our position which is gonna be 0 0 and another one this one's gonna be 1 so another one gonna be 0 1 0 2 0 3 and so on and later uh, our x gonna be incremented and it's gonna be 1 2 3 so basically a beautiful two-dimensional array gonna be done um, before start what what I would like to include is uh, one more function which which doesn't is not provided in template it's gonna be void on on GUI that's gonna be on GUI function and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a button gonna be new new rectangle it's gonna be 10 then just basic coordinates 
inside of our bottom. We're gonna call it delete grid. Uh, let's say three three. And let's close it now and let's make uh, destro destroy let's make grid 3 3 let's close it okay so wh what we did here we just create the button I, w I said that this this button is gonna have a string in it which gonna say we're gonna delete grid on location 33 so I, I would like to just show you how really how really it is to access our, our grid from from a from a two dimensional array and basically I'm gonna destroy grid 33 so let's save it and let's finish our thing let's go to unity okay we have a problem we have a problem here so Okay, sorry, my mistake. This was supposed to be going dot button. Just going too fast. Sorry about that. So with this, okay, everything's fine. So I'm gonna attach my script to a game object which is empty, and over here I just gonna store my prefab and just let's press start. Okay, my camera doesn't see the grid, but I can see it. And actually, what we can see, our grid is actually too big. So let's scale our prefab for, for example, 0.1. And um, what we're gonna need, I think we're gonna have to move our camera a bit. Let's have a look. Okay. So right now what we see, we see a grid. I just want to move move the camera a bit closer. So it's gonna be easier to see. Okay. Um just zoom in on this. We have really nice grid. And let's check our button. As you can see, on position 3-3, three, three, we're gonna have, uh, oh, from which side we're supposed to count, from this side, probably. So, we're gonna have 1, and 2, and 3, well, 3, it's gonna be 0, 1, 2, and 3. And length's gonna be 0, 1, 2, and 3. Because uh, as as you know, all the variables are starting from zero. On the computer, we're starting counting from zero. So this position is actually our position three three. So really easy, basic thing for you. And have a look on the code. It's it's looking it's looking really clean. It's really optimized, kind of, uh, and you can have basic things like how to how to access your your grid system from the code so thank you very much